Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing a video for Click Kits with Product Focus on Watercolors. That is the product focus for the month of June and I'm super excited to bust out these watercolors. Um, it's been a while since I've even dug into them, seriously. Um, so the first thing I did off camera is I grabbed some watercolor paper and I am doing a eight and a half by 11 layout. Um, and I trimmed it down and then um, matted it on some pattern paper from this kit. I absolutely love this kit and you can see the color that I'm using is like an aqua minty color um, and I'm just dipping the water in, dipping into the pan, dipping just water on the um, watercolor paper. Now I will say that I definitely get a better effect with watercolors when I actually use watercolor paper. Um, I've tried it on a regular cardstock and it just doesn't look the same. It doesn't dry in that same pretty watercolory look, if that makes any sense. Hopefully it does. So I'm using a flat brush and it's not so thick. Um, now I'm going to go in with this more of like Carolina baby blue. Um, I'm trying to get that blue that's in this paper that I matted with. Um, it's more of a muted turquoise aqua color. So, and it also has some more of that baby blue in it. Um, so in the end, once it's dry, I love, love, love the way that it looks. It's really, really pretty. I absolutely love it. Um, again, I'm just going in with that and mixing those colors and bringing in some of that baby blue and bringing it up with the water. Um, you just spread it with the water and it just spreads nicely. You can just add water and then you can dip your paintbrush in the paint and then just add the paint in certain areas where that water was. So again, I'm just going to continue that and keep adding in that nice baby blue to get that nice color. And then I'm going to go back into that aqua minty color and add some here on the bottom. I wanted some variations. I wanted you to see the different colors, but I also wanted to make a different color with them together. Um, and I felt like it matched really well. So once I get done with that, I almost do the whole page just because I really love the way it looked. I, I couldn't stop. I just kept going. Um, then I decided to do some splatters um, because I accidentally did a splatter and I was like, hey, this looks really good. So I'm going to actually put my paintbrush in the water and the paint and do some nice big splatters. I love, love, love the way that that comes together. It looks so good. Um, love it. So I am going to hit it with the heat gun. Um, I'm not going to dry it the whole thing on camera just because it does take quite a while to dry because there was a lot of water um, used for this in the watercolors. Um, so I'm going to put my watercolors away. Um, I have many, many watercolors and to be honest, I don't, I, I love these, but I also love my Jane Davenport. It just depends on what color I'm going for um, because with the Jane Davenports, I have more bright colors. Um, but I wasn't really going for super bright with this layout. So that's why I pulled those out. So as you can see, I love the texture that it gives. Um, the watercolor paper gives a really good texture and I absolutely just love the way that that came together. So for this layout, I am documenting the Click Kits design team announcement. I do like to do that. I usually do it in a traveler's notebook, but I decided, hey, what the heck? Let's just do it on an eight and a half by 11 layout. And, you know, I really, really was excited to document this because this was a team that I had like dreamed of being on. It's one of those things. If you're a YouTuber, you have certain teams that you like try to get on or you aspire to be on one day. And then when you make it, it's like, wow, seriously, I made it. <laughs> it's like surprising. But yeah, so I wanted to document that with the click kits um, kit. So it's a black and white photo, which is perfect because then you can use whatever colors you want to use. Um, and I'm going to use some of the Bella Boulevard die cuts here from the kit and bring in some more extra flowers and then bring in some um, leaves. 
love it. I love the way that that looks. It's so pretty. It just looks so pretty. I love the watercolor. And then next, I am going to um, bring in, yep, a piece of paper. I felt like it needed something to kind of just ground it all together. So I brought in this dark piece of paper, which is actually, I believe, the back of that floral paper that I matted the photo on. Um, and I did a two mat on that photo. I did the darker paper and then the floral paper. I did the darker paper behind the photo because the photo is a, has a white background. And I felt like it needed something to kind of ground it to the floral paper, if that makes any sense. Hopefully it does. Um, so next I did grab some of that washi tape from the kit and it is from Simple Stories and I just tore it and put it at the bottom and the top diagonally. Um, and then I'm gluing everything down so I can go ahead and start working on my title and some more of my embellishing. I love that floral piece. It's so pretty to me. I love these die cuts. They're super, super pretty. So there are the leaves. And then next I'm going to work on the title. Now I really honestly had no idea what I wanted the title to be. Um, I was thinking my dream team, dream team. Um, but I felt like that was too big. So I ended up going with my tribe. These are my people. <laughs> They're creative people. They're creative ladies and uh, one fellow. Um, and they're just amazing. They're all so talented. And to be on this team with them, just, it kind of makes me really happy every single day. <laughs> um, and then the last thing I'm going to do is, um, actually not the last thing, one of the last things I'm going to do is put some of those beautiful Jen Hatfield butterflies um, it kind of looks like they're flying up off the page. And then I'm going to use some of these tiny word stickers. The one that says, can't get enough of this. And the other one says, special moments. And then I'm going to also scatter some of those beautiful sequins in a couple of different places on the layout. I love this sequins mix. They're so pretty. I, I can't get over them. And I love all of the different variety in them. There's so many colors. There's so many different styles. There's flowers. There's flat ones. There's cupped sequins. It's crazy. I love them all. So off camera, I am going to add another butterfly, you guys. And actually, I'm looking at it now, and I'm like, I kind of wish I wouldn't have added the extra butterfly. So I might take it off in the end. But in the photos, there is an, a, an extra butterfly kind of at the bottom left. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this layout. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and do not forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss any upcoming videos. And don't forget to spread love and be kind. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope y'all have an amazing day. Bye.